Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening for our viewers. Welcome to the page, uh, Sumurok Luna. So now we have a mail call from Racket Ralph Toys. So shout out to you, uh, Sir Ralph, for this wonderful and awesome item. And I'm happy that I have attained this particular Marvel Legends Maestro. So before we remove it from the clamshell, just so you know, for those who are not yet aware, who is Maestro? So basically, this is Hulk or Bruce Banner from the alternate timeline or, or uh, a future distance timeline. All right. So basically, this is created by Peter David and the artist is George Perez. All right. For Maestro. And <clears throat> excuse me, this Maestro is uh, from the alternate future. So he was exposed, Hulk was exposed from different timeline, was exposed with too much radiation. He grew old and became the old, uh, they called it based on my research. He was also not just Maestro, but he was also known as the old Hulk, like the old man Logan, then this one is old man Hulk, all right? So now, this is already still mint in the clamshell, I'll only remove the buff part for the apocalypse, and this one is a Toy Beast Marvel Legend, sorry, Toy Beast Marvel Legends Maestro with the actual um comics inside and it has a 34 points of articulation as you can see here now at the back with the clamshell all right the barcode and proof of purchase if you can see here the authenticity that this is a Marvel Legends. So if you are a collector of Marvel Legends Toy Beast and you occur to have full, these are uh, to build a buff for the Apocalypse Wave, you need to complete this particular um, figures. Uh, we Sasquatch, X-23, X, um, Wolverine, then Iron Fist, and even Bishop. To complete the apocalypse buff. Alright. So now. As you can see. I have two Marvel Select as well. Um, Hulk. We have the Bruce Banner Hulk. From the Avengers. Uh, I think this is the end game. And then this is the Red Hulk. Original version. So now. Let's try to remove Maestro from the clamshell itself. So again, please, the clamshell is a little bit old already, brittle. If you will notice that sometimes even you're trying your best to have it secure to be removed, there's some breakage already. Okay, hold on a second guys. So as you can see, I've already already taken out my Astro from the clamshell. It's still intact. Let me just remove this one. Hold on a second, guys. I will remove this one for a moment. So let me remove it from the clamshell. Let me just remove the twisties. So that we can fully check the actual figure now for this figure it has his um, crown as you can see here pretty much uh, that's 
what includes inside the clamshell with the comics itself. No base. Okay. Hold on, guys. I'm trying my best not to um, remove that much for the twisties so that I can, if ever I'm planning to sell uh, this particular item, you know, I can return it back with the twisties and inside the plant clamshell okay but definitely if you are going to start collecting with full uh, this one is a must have okay this one is a must have action figure for me all right uh, i just recently started collecting full i think my first bet was the red full okay but I thought that I will not collect any more for the, the whole batches. But it is what it is. Your, you know, your excitement on collecting a new item. Especially this one is, it's like a mega fig under McFarlane Toys because of their size it's big buck and um how do i call it just try to and very good detail okay Hold on. let me just set aside this one all right that's review first the figure so just like I mentioned earlier, it has already 30, 34 points of articulation. Okay, so here is a close-up look with Maestro. Very tight joints. Never, just like I mentioned, it's still mint inside the clamshell. So it's very tight, well-preserved. Alright, details, very awesome. Comparing to, uh, to the hook, it's still the same. For the pants, as you can see here, it's like the, um, these become a cyborg for the hands. The beard, very good details, the head sculpt, and the body itself, as you can see. So, if you will notice, he is much shorter than the regular Hulk and the... Marvel Select um, Hulk. Uh, okay. Height is at around 8 inches comparing to our um, Red Hulk and regular Hulk, which is at around 10 inches tall. But pretty much, this is an awesome item that we must have with the radioactive gang or the gamma gang okay and this is his crown as a maestro so basically in, at the comics or at the series this is what he wears because he conquered a particular area I forgot uh, what particular art area either um, Washington DC or New York so that's why he was called Maestro from Bruce Banner or from the regular Hulk. So as you can see, fingers are articulated. Hold on. There. Can be moved. Oh, this one can be articulated, but it's quite... Oh, it's very tight. Yeah, yeah it. Oh, right there. Oops. Very good details at the back for his. I don't know what this one's called. It's like a skirt. As you can see. Very good paint details. And the shadowing itself. 
or maestro. Titos are articulated. Overall, this is a 10 out of 10 action figure. Even it's not um, scale comparison wise with the regular hooks. Uh, they are not 10 inches, but still, this is an awesome item that you can collect. So, there you have it, folks. Just a short review for our Marvel Legend Toy Beast Maestro. Hope you enjoy our simple review for this wonderful item. So, stay, still stay tuned for some... Short reviews as well for the action figure. So again, this is Sumo Rock Luna. Uh, thank you for watching. God bless you all. Happy collecting. Enjoy. Bye.